So in this lesson, we're going to go over which order blocks do not work. These fake order blocks are very important when it comes to the liquidation process. These traps are set to induce you into taking wrong position to result in your stop loss being liquidated. So we're going to start off with your change of character breakout order block. So here you have price in a bearish trend. But now you have a break of structure and price comes back into the range. When price comes back into the range, you have an order block form. And why is this a false order block? Not only this is an order block that's going counter trend because the character is going to change. The second thing is it's a false purge. And when price does attack that order block, it will go through it. So here's an example of your order block post your change of character. So here you have your bearish order block. And this order block occurred after your major structure break. So what does this major structure break indicate? It indicates that price no longer wants to be bearish and is trying to find more buy orders to start a bullish cycle. So selling into this would be going against all the buying orders. So what do we have here? Price was bearish. But here you had a major structure break. So again, we're not talking about these swings. We're not talking about these micro swings. We're talking about our major swings. So this was a major swing. Just how this was a major swing. It was a peak. So here you had a major structure shift. So now that price broke structure, what does that indicate? Not all the time, but probability wise, when this happens, price is trying to, at least attempting to change direction. So from bearish, they're trying to go bullish. So now you locate your shelf. So where is your shelf? Your shelf is this entire box. What is, what, what is happening in this box? This box contains buy orders. And when price comes back into this range, it's reaching for buy orders. So again, you can see sometimes price reacting from, you can see price reacting from the discount, which would be here, which would be this micro base here could be this order block or it could be the 50%, right? Anything below the 50% is automatic discount and the quarter of that would be your extreme. So price is reaching to grab the buy orders to attempt to continue higher. So if there is enough buy orders within our shelf, then price will continue higher. So trying to sell in this bearish order block would not be the smartest thing. Why would you not want to sell when price comes to this order block? Because price is changing character and price might change direction and continue bullish. So trying to continue bearish would not be ideal. And when price does reach this level, it will more than likely blow to this level and continue with the initial change of character. And again, you're going against all the buy orders accumulated within our shelf here. This is where all the buy orders were. So you trying to sell into that many buy orders is counter trend and that will not work. So as an important tip, when you're looking at your change of character fake order block is you want to look at your macro. So this black line is your macro. And as you can see, your macro, which is your higher time frame, is bullish, right? So the fact that your higher time frame is bullish, price reached your discount. What is your discount on your macro? When you pull out your fib and you pull out your quarters, you're in your discount. So you're anticipating a reversal here to continue your macro trend. So on the micro, when you see your change of character and we have the micro drawn in red, you have your change of character here. So what you're anticipating here is for price to change character, break the major structure, come back into the shelf either go to the extreme low or as long as it comes back into the range and continue higher, right? So this is why you wouldn't take your fake order block because this order block here, you'll be going against a major 
factor. You'll be going against all the major players. Why? Because you have the institutions here. They purchase price on the macro time frame and they would purchase price at the extreme. So price could be purchased here, could be purchased here, could be purchased here as long as we stay in our discount, which is if we break this into half. Anything below the 50% is our discount and where price is currently is our extreme discount. So you wouldn't want to go against the major institutions as they're purchasing. So taking a sell here, thinking price is going to reverse here would be super counter trend. And what you would rather do is get in a buy and look for a bullish order block to continue above. And this is one of the major reasons why a lot of traders lose because they lose track of what the macro is doing compared to the micro. And because they would see this on the micro and they would think this is a purge, which would be your liquidity bill price taking that liquidity comes back into the range and they would wait for the RTO right here, which would be return to origin, which would be returning to your purge. But price will blow them right through. One of the simplest fake order blocks is your counter trend. So here you have a bullish trend. Price is making higher highs and a bearish order block is formed. Why wouldn't you take this bearish order block? Because the trend is bullish. And same thing if the trend was bearish, you wouldn't take a bullish order block because you're going against the trend. So when price does approach this bearish order block, you'll more than likely continue the bullish trend. So here's a chart example of a counter trend order block. So here you have your order block and as you can see, price is in a bullish momentum. So trying to get in a sell going against the initial trend doesn't make any sense and price will more than likely continue the bullish trend. So a tip when it comes to counter trend order blocks is you want to make sure you're looking at the macro again. So here, as you can see, the black would be our macro and look at where the macro is coming from. The macro is coming from our discount. So initially the macro is in a bullish motion. So it's breaking structure, comes back into the range, comes back into the range and comes back to a significant level and expands again. So we're anticipating this trend to continue based on probabilities, right? So as you can see, price already reacted from a discounted level right here. So we're anticipating the bullish trend to continue. So when you go on the micro, you're seeing higher highs be made. A significant of course a lot of times it starts off with a consolidation a fake out to the bottom side and then the trend will start so a lot of times once price let's say this is your macro discount when price reaches this level it will consolidate expand then go back to the low side form the stop hunt and then start a structural basis market right so as you can see this you would not want to take a sell here this would be a fake order block, which in reality is just a liquidity. And you see a lot of traders doing this. They're not keeping in mind what is happening on the macro, right? And when price does reaches this level, it will more than likely blow through it. And even if let's say it wasn't perfect price action like this, let's say that this level broke structure here. Let's say this level broke structure. And as a price action trader, you are anticipate a change of character here. You would anticipate price to break structure and use this OB to continue lower. But why is this more than likely not going to happen? Because the macro, the macro is bullish. So we're trying to combine our micro and our micro to be in the same direction. So this break of, uh, break of structure does not mean anything. This is not a change of character because it's not in line with our macro. And when price does reach this level, it will more than likely continue high. then come back into the range and form the same thing again until the macro changes character. Until let's say the macro changes a significant character, then you can start looking for cells. So last but not least, we have our mitigated order block. So in this instant, you have your order block right here and this order block's already been mitigated, which means been used. So price approached this level and gave you a reaction. So any sell orders that were sitting in this order block were already used for this major move. 
And it was a significant move, even though it didn't break any structure or reach any uh, discounted level or anything like that. It was still a move that was forced by selling pressure. So the fact that we can say that sell orders were injected here, that means this or block was used. So when price does approach this level again, it will more than likely blow through it and this or block will not hold. So here's an example of a mitigated order block. Price came up to this order block and gave you a reaction. So what does this mean? That means this area now is hollow. There is nothing in here. So when price does approach this level, it might reject a little bit for the from the leftover orders. It might even break a structure or two, but it will break structure. Why? Because this order block is hollow. There's not enough orders left in it. Why is there not enough orders left in it? Because of this reaction. Price approached this level and found sell orders, got paired with sell orders to push price a little bit lower. So before you click off, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want more versions of order blocks that do not work, make sure you let me know in the comments. I have 20 more versions of which order blocks do not work. And I just didn't want to make a hour long video. But if you guys let me know in the comment and it gets enough requests, then another video will be made.